I just uh, spoke with police sources. They tell me so far there is no one in custody at this point. There is still that massive search for the person of interest in this case who's been identified as Frank James, someone who took a road trip here to the city. And now police want to know if he was the one who was responsible for causing all this terror in the subway. This morning, a massive manhunt for Frank James. I told you so about New York, and it's only going to get worse. He can't stop no crime in those subways. The 62-year-old is a person of interest in the Brooklyn subway rampage. Seen in a ranting YouTube post hours before, 10 people were shot and more than a dozen others hurt Tuesday morning. <laughs> Police say someone on the end train put on a gas mask, detonated two smoke bombs, then opened fire in the crowded rush hour car. He then fired that weapon at least 33 times, striking 10 people. The male then fled the scene, and detectives are actively trying to determine his whereabouts. People on board the train poured out amid a cloud of smoke, others falling to the floor, bleeding heavily. These people are mortified. They're coming out screaming, throwing people aside, stumbling over, stepping on people. I hear gun, bomb. He's shooting, get down. Among the commuter casualties, seven men and three women. Each was rushed to area hospitals, most in critical condition, but all survived. Thirteen others suffered injuries from the panic, shrapnel, or the fight to flee the station. Never thought I would be a bystander to something like this. Uh, it was a pretty scary situation to be in. Last night, detectives tracked down a U-Haul in Gravesend. They say James rented, not far from where they believe the suspect boarded the train. They also found personal items belonging to the shooter, including this Glock handgun and a hatchet seen in photos. Authorities are not calling it an act of terrorism at this time. They'll be able to identify the motive and the intentionality behind it. We know this incident is of grave concern to New Yorkers. We cannot lose sight of victims in this city. We will use every resource we can to bring those to justice who continue to prey on the citizens of New York. So far, there's no word on a motivation behind this attack. Police are offering a $50,000 reward for anyone who turns in the suspect. Reporting live in Sunset Park, I'm Anthony DiLorenzo, PIX11 News.